conclusion we've come to from that is that there's a significant spherical aberration that appears to be present in the optics. And that we should be able to fix it in our insurance program. I was not cynical enough yet to have an item that says we put the wrong mirror in the telescope. Ten, nine, and we have a go for main engine start. Five, four. That was not part of my equation. And that, that hurt. Lift off. Lift off of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on an ambitious mission to service the Hubble Space Telescope. The spacewalking is an athletic event. Okay, I gotta fix this thing. What are the tools? Come up with the tools, and what is the motion of the tools? And so I look at the tools and me as a dance, like an athletic event, and I trained with prime athletes. But you know, the people at Goddard and, and Seppelina and, and everyone else with the right kind of spirit, it's just, it's teamwork. It's teamwork, that's what it is. All the components that we might change out, they were designed to be changed with a spacewalk. So that's flexibility, that's looking for the future, that's designing for failures. A perfect spacewalk is one that you pull off just as accurate as an Olympic high jumper. Here's what you do. And so I envision, here's the problem, and I of course do not have the right solution right away. That evolves the, the final motions I'm going to do. Watch your right hand. There's no doubt there's public pressure. There's no doubt the results, people are waiting to get it fixed and a lot of it should not have happened. The mirror floor was inexcusable, but the world is not perfect. There is public pressure. It's important to people to get that thing fixed. And so that's the consequence. You feel the consequences. You have practiced every one of these maneuvers literally hundreds of times and you've gone into those water tanks to practice it. What was different about it when you were shoving that piano-sized camera into the Hubble yesterday? So, uh, yes, we practiced for hundreds and hundreds of hours. We, uh, we tried to identify every kind of surprise that we might run into. I've been running scared really ever since I got assigned to this mission and the key thing was surprise. But I think even way beyond that, uh, I certainly will not relax until six weeks or two months from now when we see how the solar rays perform, we see how the towers perform, we start getting optical images back from all the, all the instruments and see if the aberration is corrected. Uh, that only at that time will I kind of relax and think that we have gotten the job done. The relationship with the crew was perfect all the way around. It was, it was marvelous. We had a great crew. We landed the shuttle. Covey's coming downstairs. I, I had gone down to the mid deck. He's coming down. He looked me in the eyes and said, Story, I am proud of you. <laughs> Enough to bring me to tears. Story, I'm proud of you. That was. Very nice. And I'm happy to announce today that after its launch now in 1990, some of its earlier disappointments, the trouble with Hubble is over. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> My first view <laughs> of the repaired telescope. But of course, there were moments earlier than that, you know, when Claude picked it up and, and let it go, and that's my sweetie, and we're leaving. We think we got it all done. We think she's, you know, that was a big moment too when she, we're leaving. There she goes, we're leaving. But it was Galaxy M100. Oh my God, <laughs> what? It was an outrageous picture. I don't know if it brought me to tears or not. Before this flight and during the flight actually, it's been billed as very important for fixing Hubble, for demonstrating orbital servicing and in some sense for showing NASA can still do really difficult missions and do them well. To you, what was the most important reason to go do this mission? I describe it as NASA had the courage to go for it all, to do absolutely everything on Hubble that it needed doing. They, they did. They had the courage to go for the whole thing. In a nutshell, I think uh, 
What was it all about? It was NASA had the courage to go for it all. It was just a massive part of, part of my life. Incredibly fortunate that I got to participate in, uh, in that machine. That I got to be part of it. Hello, Story. 